Throughout the pandemic, we've had to take the tough decisions to protect the United Kingdom, to protect people's health, to protect people's jobs and the businesses that fuel our economy. On the big calls, we got it right. That meant big calls on the economy, supporting 12 million jobs through furlough and supporting businesses with over 90 billion pounds in loans and grants. We made the right call on PPE, providing our key workers with 17.5 billion pieces and investing in vaccines before anyone else. It meant we delivered the first vaccine in the world and now over 138 million doses have been administered. When Omicron first arrived on our shores, we took the decision to resist Labour's calls for lockdown and instead we invested in boosters, delivering the fastest rollout in Europe with 37 million doses to date. Now it's because of that success that we can end Plan B and take the big calls once again on what matters most to the British people. Like delivering the biggest catch-up programme in the NHS's history so everyone can get the care they deserve. Care delivered by the 50,000 nurses we're recruiting, whilst at the same time we're delivering 40 hospitals and 100 community diagnostic centres. We're making the big calls to keep communities safe, with 20,000 more police on the street, passing new laws that put offenders in jail for longer, with longer sentences for assaulting an emergency worker and life sentences for child murderers. We're making the big calls to secure our borders, breaking the people smuggling gangs with new powers for border force to remove those that are here illegally and life sentences for people smugglers. Laws and powers that Labour and the Liberal Democrats oppose at every turn. We're making the big calls once again on the economy, with our plan for jobs helping hundreds of thousands of people into work, plus getting 160,000 apprentices into a trade. We're backing high streets with the biggest single year business rate cut in 30 years. We're making the big calls to seize the opportunities of Brexit, signing trade deals worth £760 billion with 70 countries and even more negotiations are underway. It's because we're getting the big calls right that the UK is emerging from the pandemic stronger. Growth is up, jobs are up, wages are up, and now we're getting on with the job, delivering on the people's priorities.